Hey guys, morning. Welcome to the video. I'm gonna do a little video this morning. Today's Easter, so if you're watching this on Easter, happy Easter. I got the bug up and running yesterday after I had been working on the electrical system for a couple of weeks, and now we got warmer weather setting in. And now I've got this new wing on the back here. And if you watched some of my videos last year, you might know that I was having some problems with the radiator heating up the inside of the bug. I wasn't having a problem with the actual engine overheating. The engine was cooling fine, but the radiator seemed to, just the way the airflow is, kind of circulate the heat and it would get things really, really warm. And actually what I had to do during the summer is I realized if I took these front aluminum panels off and just let the air come right in, then everything was fine. And that is fine, although then it made it really difficult in cold weather and sometimes it just wasn't real nice having air flowing through there. Now I can definitely do that again this year because that works. But what I'm curious about now that I have this wing, this new this wing has only been on here for a couple of weeks. I'm wondering if before the airflow would come down and kind of go into the back window and then circulate things around. I'm wondering possibly if now the air hits the wing kind of runs straight off the top and might possibly create a low pressure in the rear that could actually suck the heat out. So I'm just gonna do a little test. It's a nice day, it's about 68 degrees right now and it's gonna get warmer. It's a beautiful day. I'm just gonna take a ride. I put the panels in the front. So if I did this last year, once the engine warms up, the cab would get pretty, pretty warm and I'll be able to tell pretty quickly whether or not that's happening. So I'm just gonna go do some uh, gravel roads back here, put some miles on and, and see if it seems like it gets warm just like it did before or if it does in fact seem like that wing is changing the airflow and it's pulling some of the air out the back. So let me strap some cameras on here and let's go for a little dirt road ride. All right guys, so I'm out here. I've been running around for about 10, 15 minutes. The engine's totally up to temperature and my test results are done. And I'm gonna say it works 75% of the time. Let me explain what I'm talking about. When I would get up to, let's say above 40 miles an hour, you could actually feel a noticeable difference. You could actually feel the cab kind of cool down a little bit. Um, and I think what was happening is exactly what I thought. I think the wing kind of starts to kick the air up, create a little bit of a low pressure here, and suck the heat from the radiator right out. When I'd be putting around at lower speeds, like, I don't know, 20, 30 miles an hour, when I'm driving down some of the gravel roads here, it still stayed far cooler than it did before, because before it, it, would, get, it would get noticeably uncomfortable. I mean, it would get really warm. You could feel pockets of hot air kind of escaping and circulating around. It also depended on, as I would make turns, it's a little bit breezy today. And if I kind of made a turn and the wind was coming from the side, it would kind of change the effects of everything. Um, but one thing was definite. Once I would get going down the road and get some speed going, you could kind of feel the, the cab like just get cleared out of all the heat. So 
it does work it helps i mean it's not it doesn't cure that problem by any means but and i'll probably make one or two little dampers that you can just open now i don't know if i'll do that on this bug but again remember i'm in like extreme research and development mode for the new chassis and i think the new chassis will have that wing or a wing similar to it doing the same kind of concept on the new chassis I will keep it all covered and paneled like this, but I'll probably add one little damper on each side with a little lever that you can pull to open it up. Um, so that was good. That was that was a good test. It it vetted things out. I got some information about that wing actually making some changes, and it's a beautiful day, so I got to do some uh, some good gravel driving around. One thing that this has done is reminded me that I have that mystery clunk that I've never been able to find. So. Uh, Maybe I'll put a little more effort into trying to find that again. Either way, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I had fun taking you along, trying to figure out what differences this wing does, and we got some good information. Hopefully, it's helping you, motivating you with some of your projects, and I hope to see you on the next video. Take care.